Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of my Fishing Planet series. This is the series where we catch every single possible fish while I share my locations, tips and tricks. In the previous episode we managed to finish the Lone Star Lake fishing log, which means in this episode we are heading to Mud Water River. This episode's goal is to catch every single fish on this river and also buy some new gear. First, let's upgrade some of our gear. Let's buy some new line. The line I will be buying is this 12 mil braid. 150 meters is more than enough for now because our reels can hold up to like 60 meters only so it doesn't matter if we get 150 meters or 300 meters now let's get this windcast 1500 reel that we unlocked at level 5 we will use this reel on our spin fishing setup with the line we just bought also we will keep using the same casting spoon one that weighs nine grams that we used on the first map this is most likely the best lure to use on this river at a low level i will also grab some bait like red worms dough balls and flies and now get our last thing before we get to the river the advanced license you always want to have that advanced license because this gives you the best opportunity to earn exp and money this is for you my patreons join the patreon to support my channel and have access to exclusive content early access and more the first spot we will be fishing at is the last songs of summer this is the spot on the map if you want to follow we will catch all panfish from here it should be fairly easy but you know you could get unlucky and keep catching the same fish all over and over again without getting the last one that you need let's actually track this mission so we have a better overview at all times what we have caught and what do we still need to catch the setup is very easy i will use a float rod with size 8 hooks depth 45 centimeters and for the bait some red worms with red worms you should be getting absolutely everything from this spot that you need to finish this mission so let's see what kind of a fish will we catch first so i pretty much had no luck at that time so i will skip my time towards the peak time of fishing and hopefully the bite rate will go up by a ton let's cast right back over here i'm actually going to cast a bit further away from the marker or the boy so yeah then you know hey you like the video oh yeah definitely much faster bite look at this we already have a bite and this is the green sunfish one down the list already all right we only have like seven to go hopefully we'll get lucky as well too bad this fish isn't worth almost any money and our keep net is still tiny only seven kilos but it's still better than the one we had at the beginning which was like two kilos already another bite this is so quick right now this has to be something different as well yeah it's a shiner i think yes a common shiner we got that down the list already awesome we we are actually flying through this mission another species again and this is a bluegill it took me like two seconds to get a bite the bite rate is so good right now but we are using size eight hooks and red worms which means every single fish over here wants it this means we have a better chance at catching something and this is a trophy pumpkin seed okay that's pretty cool we don't need to go for this trophy later on we actually have it already we only have five more species to go actually four because we also got the black tail shiner down now this is so crazy we've got zero dupes so far every single fish has been a unique fish let's see if this will be a dupe or not because we only need white crappy and the minnow from here oh actually it is a minnow now we only need white crappy from here and then we can use a different setup to catch the bullhead and the catfish our first dupe actually another dupe a new bb what a behemoth and i think this is it yeah we caught the white crappy which means we only have the bullhead and catfish to go for but that means we need to switch up our bait and also the location i almost forgot to say that we also reached level 7 which unlocks some pretty good stuff and with level 7 we also made easy 1500 silver which is very welcome at this stage because we are broke let's switch to size 2 hooks use pet food for bait and change depth to 100 centimeters this is the spot where we'll be fishing at over here i think you can only catch the catfish and the bullhead so it should be fairly easy to get both of them done our first rodeo of the episode finally something that is spooling me at least a bit i think this could be a catfish maybe the bullhead but it looks like a catfish so let's see what it is in a second if i can actually land it yes we did and it is the channel catfish we got that done which is awesome the thing is later on in the episode we actually have to catch a trophy channel catfish if i'm not making a mistake and that on this gear will be extremely hard another kitty cat i need to get the bullhead well i think the bullheads are not home because this is another catfish i think something is nibbling the bait right now yep we have hooked into something oh it's tiny it's coming in fairly easily but it is the black bullhead so i'm fine with that we got it done we actually finished up the whole mission which means we should get quite a bit of money for that so we got 1300 silver and also some new line the next mission that we need to complete is the mud water trial for this we need to catch the chain pickerel crass pickerel bowfin and freshwater drum so i think the hardest out of all of these will be the bowfin so let's get onto it this will be my spin 
fishing setup as you can see this is the same setup that we actually assembled at the beginning of this episode first up i'm gonna fish on the left side over here because i feel like this is so said pickerelly spot there's reeds there's weeds everything that i like and i will be fishing the stop and go method the stop and go method means that you reel a bit stop then reel a bit and stop as you can see what i'm doing with the reel right now and this gives you the best bite rate that there is actually we have something on it took almost no time just a few seconds and this is big at least to my standards right now with all my setup or actually maybe not that big i overestimated at the beginning how big this fish was gonna be well this looks like a young large mod bass which we actually needed and also a new bb which is always very welcome even though it was a very tiny bass if we check the mission we should see that we have caught the large mod bass which we have and let's also track the mission so we have a better overview i tried fishing from the right side and i do believe we have another young bass on so this is not a good spot for any of the pickerels or the drum and I think I will be moving on and testing another spot. Oh, there's a free gift. Actually, let's take this. E for interaction. Let's go. We got some rockets. Okay, that's not very helpful unless we can go and catch fish with rockets. So I just walked to the right side of the previous spot we were at. And I'm going to try to catch something from over here. I think between these trees, it looks very fishy. And once again, stop and go method. Here we go. Our first fish is on. And this one is pulling a bit more than the two young large mount bass we had before. I'm not really sure what kind of fish it is it did jump out of the water twice but i did not spot it so it will be quite a surprise once we really didn't what it's gonna be hopefully it's one of the pickerel i think it was a pickerel i saw it for like a millisecond and it looked like a pickerel damn this thing is actually putting up a proper fight come on mate just come to the keep net already stop fighting you know you want to be in the keep net and this is a chain pickerel awesome now we need three more species and two of them we can catch with the lure and a bow fin for that we need to use the floats again but i'm gonna try to get a crass pickerel next or a drum well this is not really what i was after not another bass but hey it's gonna be some money and another bass this should be my new bb i think because this is the biggest bass i've seen so far on one of my lures yep this is not even a young one anymore this is a proper largemouth bass and we're at 90 silver that's pretty good but my keep net is going to be full soon which is not ideal no way i was going for the regular crass pickerel and i caught the trophy one like what are the odds i'm actually quite quite happy for this because now we don't have to go for the trophy grass pickerel later on and we only have two more species to go to finish off the mission let's head to catfish heaven so this is the spot we will use at catfish heaven to catch the bowfin i will use the exact same setup as we did before for the catfish so pet food size 2 hook and depth 100 i'm 100 confident that this is not a bowfin because a bowfin would be spooling us right now like crazy this is another tiny pumpkin seed let's try a new depth let's try depth 2 200 centimeters and see if that helps well that is definitely a bowfin unless i hooked into a big channel cat bowfin are extremely strong and at the beginning of the game they are a pain in the ass to really get in because if you use this beginner setup they do so much damage while you do absolutely nothing to them and especially if you're going for a trophy the trophies i think it will take like 10 minutes in real life time to actually reel in the fish but i haven't had one yet so i don't know but we will catch one later on in this episode because we have to get the trophy bowfin as well which will be probably the hardest species of trophies to catch on this mud water river. The fish is slowly, slowly getting tired, so we will have it in, I don't know, in like 10 or 15 seconds, I, I bet. I hope at least. I'm done fighting with this fish. It's been too long. Okay, so 11 meters to go. Fairly close to me. Oh, that was a nice bug on the rod tip. Yes, it is a bowfin as well. We got the bowfin done. So next up, we need to go for the freshwater drum. And to catch the freshwater drum, just uh, follow this trail until the end and then you will end up over here. This is the spot where I will actually use my spin fishing setup to catch the freshwater drum. I will just cast along the coast and see if we will snag anything. Maybe a drum, maybe a pick roll, maybe another bass, who knows, let's see. The stop and go method actually works so well. As you saw again, it took me like five or six seconds of doing it to hook a fish. Is that a drum? I can't really see because there is so much glare on the water, but it could be a drum by the looks of it, at least, unless it's another bass. I said that the bowfin was fighting super, super hard. Trust me, this freshwater drum right now on this spin fishing setup is doing even more damage it's actually pretty pretty wild we should have the fish in in a second we can actually do it it's at seven meters at five it should pretty much pull it in or no 
Come on, fish. Just give up already. With this fish, we will also complete the mud water trial, which will give us some money. And we are desperate for money. And here we go. So, a fresh water drum, which is 1.7 kilos. That's a pretty big one. That's a surprise. I'm going to release some of the smaller fish we caught before and get this fish in our inventory so we can sell it for money. 94 silver is better than 10 and 17. And here we go. Mission accomplished. We got some money and a new lure. So, we have 17 out of 26 fish caught, which means we have nine more fish to go. The hardest will be trophy bowfin, freshwater drum and channel catfish for sure. And oh, this is the marker for the freshwater drum if you want to go and catch the freshwater drum where I caught it from. But before we go for the hard trophies, let's go get the bluegill trophy and a unique bluegill. I was told that this is the best spot for the bluegill trophy and unique. You use depth 45 and for the bait flies with size 8 hook. Let's skip the time for better bite rate. Does not look like a bluegill. White crappy. I mean, we need this, but in a trophy form. All right, this is the right species. This is a bluegill, and now we need just a trophy and a unique. Please be a trophy. I want a trophy bluegill so badly, and it is not even a bluegill. It's a black tail shiner. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What did we hook into now over here with flies? It's spooling my reel. None of the panfish did that before. What actually could it be? Could it be a trophy white crappy maybe? Oh no, that is the fish we're actually after. It's a unique bluegill. That's awesome. That is like way rarer than the regular trophy bluegill. We actually got it. I'm quite surprised it was fairly easy to get. So now we just need a trophy bluegill. I mean, good cash and good EXP. This means we also got a new level, I do believe. Yep, level eight, 1,500 coins and a new reel that we actually want to buy later on when we go to a new lake. Okay, I think I have a bit too much luck because this seems like another trophy unique bluegill. Let's see if it is that. It is. It's another unique bluegill. This is not what I'm after. I need the trophy bluegill. Just a regular one, please, game. I guess if you complain in this game, you get some garbage. But it was another challenge, which is good. Easy money. A shiner. Another one. And another one. Let's see if the black tail shiner streak will continue or if we get something new. This seems like something else. It's a bluegill. Is it a trophy? It is. We caught the trophy bluegill. Yes. 300 grams, 32 coins and 12 EXP. If we compare it to the unique, money-wise and DSP-wise, not that good. But thankfully, we have caught all the different bluegill now. As you can see, 19 out of 26 has been caught. Now, let's go and get the grass pickerel. We need only the regular version, not the trophy one. I've gone through so many spots and I think I've finally caught the right one. Yes, we finally caught the grass pickerel. It took me so much time. I went through like five or six different spots. None of them worked and well, I settled at the same spot where I caught the trophy from before and it worked between the trees over here. Perfect. Now let's go for the white crappy trophy. This is definitely not the white crappy trophy, but still a very nice trophy to get. We also got this trophy right at the beginning of the episode, so we already had that in the list. Oh, didn't even see, but we hit level 9, which means we got easy cash once again. Come on, man. That's too easy. Trophy white trappy. We caught this fish already. Now we should have 21 fish out of 26 caught, so we are getting close to the end. This is the spot where I will be trying to get the trophy bullhead from. It's pretty much the same spot where I caught the small bullhead, but let's just hope RNG is on our side and we will also get the trophy. Oh, something is nibbling. Will it be a bullhead? Oh, nope. This is not a bullhead. It's coming in so easily. It's another panfish. Yeah, a pumpkin seed. I saw the fish before for a second and this is definitely a bullhead. Not sure if it's a trophy bullhead, but it is a right species. Yeah, it's a black bullhead. 0 0.5 kilos, almost 0 0.6 kilos. These bullheads and catfish are not worth almost anything at all. And I think right now I have a channel cat on because it is pulling fairly hard and none of the bull has really pulled that hard catching all of these different trophies right now with this light setup is getting harder and harder i think i will keep the hardest trophy at the end which will be the channel catfish or the freshwater drum this fish is nine meters away it's so so close i think i will have it oh we actually caught the trophy black bullhead well that's a surprise i did not expect it to be a trophy 1.6 kilos what a nice trophy i will sell my fish and actually return to the globe because i want to buy a new keep net. The current keep net that we have is just too small. I can't keep almost any fish in it and we're not making much money. So this time with the whole trip we made like 1.7k but 
that is absolutely nothing compared to the amount that we actually could be making and also the travel cost right now because of holidays is cheaper so awesome let's get the fish hut l this is the best one that we can use this is the one that we actually unlocked at level eight and yeah we need to get a lot of levels to actually unlock the next keep net since we have unlocked the cut bait and small minnows i'll get both of these baits and also buy some barbless size one hooks i mean if we already started to spend some money then let's get some more gear let's get the chum chest mini for extra inventory space hobby gear rod case and slingshot mono rod stand well while equipping these items i realized i already had the rod case so money not well spent so this is the spot on the map where i will be trying to get the trophy channel catfish from i will use the size one barbless hooks with small cut bait and depth 250 centimeters our first fish is on will this be the target species or not it is it's a young channel catfish so if there's young channel catfish there has to be a big one as well oh boy i feel like this is an endless fight it's so odd also if you have something extremely strong on your hook then the raw tip is bugging out like crazy so even just by that i know this is a very very big catfish ah just look at that raw tip it is unnatural but let's see how big of a fish this is i think i will skip this part because it will take me ages to get the fish in it is about time the fish is almost to the shore but still eight meters to go and it has some energy left I'm not sure if i can actually cheese it in my i could i guess 2.8 kilos i don't know the trophy size but i do believe it's around three kilos or something like that so we were very close to the trophy well our fish is on the shore i don't know why i did it but it is a trophy channel catfish by the way i did not think it was going to be a trophy i thought it was something under the trophy size once again but hey we got the trophy channel catfish done only three more fish to go to finish off mud water river this is the exact spot where i caught the trophy channel catfish from and this on the map is now the spot where i will be trying to get the trophy both in from so i will use the same hook so hook size one for the bait small cut bait and the depth 150 centimeters instead of 250 centimeters that we used for the catfish let's see if we are lucky or not well it is definitely a fish and it is bugging my rod out yep as you saw again it is bugging my rod out this means it has to be something fairly decent and we have tired the fish out almost completely it's uh pretty close to the shore it has some energy left but should be on the shore any second now so we have like 10 meters to go let's see can we get it in it doesn't want to give up i'll get closer to the fish maybe it's easier to get it in that way oh yep got it in and it is a bowfin almost a two kilo bowfin a new pb awesome very good exp 49 exp these things actually take ages to fight with there's another bowfin 2.3 kilos and 67 exp you can see three green triangles next to the exp this means that we used a very light gear to catch a hard fish which gives you some sort of a bonus exp and that is what those three marks will show you another big in this is maybe a potential trophy because i fought with this fish for way longer than with any other fish so far actually no 2.1 kilos i guess this fish was just very very trained a strong one. Oh, and level 10 new river and easy catch once again i guess they just keep getting tinier or do they because this is a true behemoth of a bowfin if i've seen one before and the chat kind of spoiled it but it is a trophy bowfin awesome let's go 2.9 kilos and only two more fish to go to finish off the log this is the exact spot where i caught the trophy bowfin from so i've been here sitting and fishing with lures to get the trophy drum or the trophy bass and i've had no luck so i will try with minnows we'll use our float fishing setup with size 2 hook and minnows for bait at depth 100 and this is the spot where i will be casting to finally something very big on the hook with the lures i kept getting like small bass and small drum oh sorry fish i did not mean to flip you like that and it's also a trophy okay that's crazy i <laughs> i just pulled out a trophy freshwater drum like that with a flip well we got the drum done so we only have one more fish left which is the trophy large mod bass easy level cash this is the exact spot where i caught the freshwater drum from i think this could be it i think this could be the trophy large mod bass we're going for it's fighting hella hard i used minnows for bait again but this time i switched the hook to size one and my rod is glitching like crazy so this has to be something very very big if i saw correctly then i will be very disappointed in a second this is not a bass this is a bowfin it's not what i was really going after and it's also a trophy bowfin 
a new BB 3.6 kilos. That's insane. This is not what I wanted, but I can't complain. So much EXP. I've actually had quite a bit of luck over here with minnows to get some large mod bass at depth 60 centimeters. So I'm going to keep trying. Maybe I'll get the old trophy out of all those young large mod bass from here. Please don't be a bowfin because I caught a bowfin before from here and I need a bass. This one has been fighting with me for so long. And if this is a trophy large mod bass, we have completed the fish log on mod water river. And the chat again is a big spoiler, but we did get the trophy a large mod bass, which means we've caught every single fish on mud water river and we can move on to the next water body another challenge complete and nice two cold coins if we check the mud water river fish species we can see the green tick mark behind it which means we've caught every single fish possible from this river if you guys enjoyed this episode you also might like this one take care bye bye